Hey guys, how's it going? We have another Amazon find today and it's a great deal, actually 50% off at about $11. Normally it's so what, like 22, I guess that would be 50% off, right? But it is a three in one car cell phone holder. This one is by a brand called Red Taco and anything with the word taco in it is A-OK -okay with me. So we're gonna open this thing up and it says three in one, which I think just means three different ways to install it. And you can install it on your dash, on your, um, your window or on a vent. This particular car phone holder, say that three times fast, is supposed to be pretty tough and also compact. If you never used a car phone holder, I highly recommend it. It's a lot easier to do than holding your phone or putting it in a thingy that comes out and then you stick it in there and it kind of wobbles around and then falls out when you're turning really hard. That's happened to me multiple times and then I've had to reach over and uh, pick up the phone and it's just a big hassle. But if you have one of these, and just sitting right next to like your steering wheel and uh, bringing the cell phone up to more of eye level and it's holding it for you. It's just so much more convenient. So I highly recommend it. Car phone holders are pretty simple devices. It's just a piece of plastic that holds your phone up, but this one has a few ways to attach it. So let's take a look at the attachments. Scratch to win, huh? Uh, we got the instructions for the installation, which shows you how to put it together, but I'll do that right now. So we have the mount, we have the cell phone holder part, which has some buttons on the side, and then you can squeeze it into your phone after you put the phone in there. Feels pretty solid. The bottom part looks like it pops out as well. This looks like it's the vent holder right here, which I'm not gonna be using. And then this is the pad to tape onto your dash. Uh, if you're going to install it on your dash versus installing it on the windshield, which I believe you would just use the sticky pad for that. So if you were going to install this into the vent in your car, you would just put this nut right here on the vent holder deal and just kind of snap it in there and then tighten the nut until it was uh, nice and snug there. And then you would just uh, stick this right into the vent and it would hold it up like that. Instead, I'm going to mount it onto this mount and you kind of do the same thing. You stick the nut on the ball <laughs> like so. Then you stick the holder part onto the ball and screw it in so that it, the nut holds the, um, the holder part on. Pretty sure those aren't the actual terminology for each of these parts, but hey, guess what? That's, that's what I'm gonna use. So you can tighten this nut so that it doesn't move around. So you wanna adjust it and then tighten it to hold it there. Uh, but I'll be readjusting it once I put it in the car itself. So then of course I would stick this um, dash plate onto the dash and then I would stick this onto the plate, just like so. But of course you can put this on your windshield upside down if you wanted to. So let's go to the car and install it and see how it works. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm in my car right now and yes, it is dark outside. It uh, it does get dark kind of early, but uh, here is one of the attachments. So this is, this is the one where you can put into the vent. That's not what I'm gonna be using, but I'll show you how it works. Basically, like I showed you before, you can attach the head part to the ball right here and then you would stick it in the vent right here until it catches and then you turn this to tighten it but i don't like that because it'll cover the whole vent block air from coming through and this is la so it gets hot in the summertime and i want all the air possible coming out of there so i'm going to take that out so what i'm actually going to do is put it about right here and what i'm going to do first is just clean it off so i have this paper towel that i have pre moistened with a cleaner you usually want to use some kind of, ooh, that's dirty. What the heck? You usually want to use some kind of a, like an alcohol for this sort of thing to really get it clean. But I'm not caring all that much. I think the tape is going to be strong enough. So then you put the pad on there. Here it is. And take this tape off just like so. Now you might be going, well, Chris, isn't that going to cover the vent anyway? Uh, yeah, it, it will. But you know what? Uh, we're not going to talk about that, so just stick that on nice and tight. Then, I've already put the head on there, and I've kind of figured out the layout. You can either... Okay, so one thing about this that I didn't show is there is a button right here. You can push that to move the arm or the neck up and down, so you can orient it either upright like this or the other way so that it's like... Yeah, you'll, you'll figure it out. You know, you can orient it how you want it to be. I'm going to kind of do it upside down so that it's going downward. I'm going to take this plastic off. Okay, so you know what? I'm actually finding out that this is not really sticking that well. Uh, this tape on the bottom is just not very sticky, so... All right, I stuck it on there without the pad that's supposed to help it stay on, but it's 
not staying on. What I might do eventually, if this doesn't hold, is I'm gonna get some double-sided tape for the pad and, and use that later. But this thing I think is gonna hold on this dash, and it could be my dash is just the texture is very smooth. So I'm gonna orient it how I want it, and then I'm going to tighten the little nut behind there so it doesn't move. Now I am using my cell phone to shoot this, so I can't really put it in there. I'm gonna have to use this little guy. Yes, this is an iPhone 5C. I don't know if you remember those but it seems to work just fine. <laughs> so there's an iPhone 5C. I have no doubt that it'll fit my large iPhone 11 Pro Max or Max Pro, whatever it is. It says that it holds large phones, like 4.75 inches wide. Seems solid. It doesn't move a lot and the whole thing feels pretty solid. You can adjust the bottom part if you need it to be longer. And then to release it, you just push the buttons on the side and it'll slide open and it's super easy to pull out with one hand. And I really like this style of cell phone holder where you can just push it with your fingers and then close it with your fingers too, all with one hand, it's really nice. Hey guys, I'm back from installing the cell phone mount to my car and it looks like it'll work out just great. One thing about it is that this disc that you're supposed to stick on to the dash didn't stick on this uh, sticky tape right here doesn't seem to be that sticky. So I didn't use it. I stuck the mount onto my dash with just the suction cup that's on it and it seems to be sticking on there just fine. We'll see how long it lasts. Otherwise, I do like how small it is and that's one of the features about it is that it is smaller. The neck is not as long as some other ones, but that could also be a con because maybe you need a longer neck depending on how high your dash is or where you want to place it. But with my dash, it seemed to fit perfectly exactly where I want it, which is really nice. I feel like this is a good $20 cell phone holder, but check out the link in the description for 50% off, which makes it a great $11 cell phone holder. Let me know how you navigate while you're driving. If you're a, a hand holder or if you put it in like a cup holder or if you do have one of these cell phone holders, which is in my opinion, the best option to have. I feel like it's a lot more convenient. The cell phone is higher up so that you can just glance at it instead of looking down. Maybe if it's at, in a cup holder, you don't have to hold it with your hand. You can instead hold a nice coffee or something in your hand. You know what I'm saying? But thanks again for watching Half Price. Make sure to like this video and subscribe and we'll see you next time.